no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Problem a lot of the bombs we're dropping in Afghanistan are killing unarmed civilians, women and children and other people. You lose points for shooting when you're playing Call of Duty. So what do you do? Well, you could stop bombing, but no, nah, it's too lucrative. The bombing business is thriving right now. It's like what hula hooping was in the 1950s. Can't get enough of it. Well, you could decrease the bombing and only do it in extremely rare moments when you have no other choice. But no, no, it's too fun. Do you stop wanting sex just because you're bad at it? Hell no, you jump right back on that horse and try it again. I'm, I'm not saying w women are horses. I, I'm just saying. So the Obama administration came up with a brilliant answer. Too many civilians dying? You change the definition of the word civilian. How beautiful is that? And at this point, most of you with an intelligence greater than an eggplant parmesan are thinking, you can't just change the definition of a word. But if you're a president, you can. You can change words and meanings and anything. Just run around decreeing. Dessert is now breakfast. Breakfast is now lunch. And premature ejaculation is now a just right ejaculation. Let's see the first lady make fun of me now. Civilian used to mean anybody who was not actively fighting a battle. However, now the Obama administration considers any military age males in a strike zone as combatants, greatly decreasing the number of civilians around a target. Picture this. Maybe you're just a village camel whisperer in Afghanistan, but nope, now you're a combatant. If you're a mentally challenged man trying to figure out how to eat your soup, doesn't matter. Combatant. The interesting thing is you would also have to apply this definition to ourselves, right? So that means when you're in an airport and all those soldiers are walking around you with semi-automatics, you're now a military combatant. You thought you were just a mid-level IT guy working on Cinnabon number two and a love handle number seven, but no, you're a warrior preparing to use that Cinnabon with lethal force. It also means that everyone in the planes that were hijacked on 9-11 were no longer civilians because they were in the proximity of a terrorist. So they were all combatants. Starting to sound a little weird, starting to sound like reality in a fun house mirror but with less fun? Yeah, that's what it is. It's foality. The world is now whatever makes us most comfortable, even if it means we have to redefine words to get there. Look, we don't like killing civilians. It makes us feel a little icky, right? But in foality, we aren't killing civilians. They're combatants now, who technically didn't know they were fighting, and were only armed with falafel. Email Obama. Tell him he doesn't get to redefine our world. That's been your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. There's still time to win a free copy of the Moment of Clarity book. For a couple of more days, all you have to do to enter is leave a comment under one of the videos at LeeCamp.net. Also, coming up on the Moment of Clarity podcast, I talk with Steve Faber, the man who wrote a slightly popular movie called Wedding Crashers. Get it for free on iTunes, Stitcher, or the Moment of Clarity Android app. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.